I gotta kick it again. Are you coming? Come on. Okay, so I wanted to give an update on kind of how this is going. I got it finally completed, but then my door fell off. So yesterday it was really, really cold and I didn't get a chance to completely fix it. So we'll have to... What do you guys want? Huh? You guys want some treats? Should I go back in and get you some treats? So now inside, we have areas where the kids and I have planted seeds. And then we double covered them because we still get freezing in here at night. And then I also put water in to try and help heat it up during the day. Mac, no, 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 no. Good job. Um, and then emit heat at night. We planted them. It'll be a week ago tomorrow. I'm not sure if we'll have any starts or not because, like I said, it has been getting extra cold. I'm not seeing anything. But it is definitely warm in here right now. So I'm going to get this door sealed up and then I'll report back. There's my makeshift compost pile to also help emit heat. I just started a couple days ago and I'll add some bedding from the chicken coop when I clean that later this afternoon. What I originally did was I velcroed the seams because the greenhouse plastic that I bought was not quite long enough to do the whole thing. Um, and it, it, it holds up okay, but it, this whole door, when I put the weight on it to hold it down on the bottom, which is just a PVC pipe, just, we had a big prairie wind and it, it flew I right off. You found a feather! Oh, oh it's, it's beautiful, thank you. you to okay. Anyway, the, the, the prairie wind just picked up this whole door and ripped the whole thing off, so we lost a whole night of heat there, so I don't know if our plants will germinate. They were covered with the individual covers, but we'll just, we'll have to keep an eye on them. The seam here seems to be holding up okay. And then on this seam back here, I wrapped it around to kind of give it more structural strength and I Velcroed it with these little white Velcros those seem to be holding up and then I just use the black Velcro on the outside. And again, those seem to be holding up, but most of our winds come from the south. So um, it must have just ripped up the top of that and just pulled it right over. So slowly but surely we'll get this thing figured out and then maybe we could keep growing some plants. Okay, so on the outside, the plastic didn't quite come to the ground. So we put a board out front and then we, um, buried the bottom half in dirt and then I've run around the majority of it and I have buried the bottom layer of plastic and dirt to weigh it down. The chickens have clearly moved all the dirt I put out here so I'll have to readjust that and um, it's just something I always have to keep updating on and then originally to build it I am um, put up two T-posts on either side, and then I looped a piece of cattle panel on the inside. I put up these foam insulator, pipe insulation to keep the T-post from um, cutting into the plastic where it meets. And then I covered it with six millimeter plastic to create my own little greenhouse slash cold frame. I'm not quite sure what to call it taken all the dirty chicken bedding and I've added some to my compost and I've spread it out all over the walkway. Um, this will in the summer turn into where I keep my tomatoes and my peppers and all my really warm weather crop because last year we just didn't do very well and I think this will be a, a way to control the environment a little bit more. In the summer I will roll up the sides and take off the, the front and the back but that's part of the reason why I started this this winter is to have it ready for when um, maybe an early start to get my tomatoes outside. So another heat measure that I have is because we have such rocky so soil, all the rocks and the kit, all the rocks the kids and I found we gathered in this bucket to um, absorb heat during the day and then 
radiated at night as long as well as the water jug and then I also put in the tea post pounder because I don't know if you've ever touched one of those on a hot day but ow so hopefully that'll radiate some heat too along with my compost pile which um, basically I put in everything the chickens can't have like the coffee grounds and the, the citrus peels and um, Kenzie doesn't like to feed them their eggshells. She thinks that's weird. So I just I have eggshells in there as well. So that's our house. That's our update. And those are the seats that the kids and I use when we're working in here. Um, and I'll keep everybody posted. Bye.